After a few hours, Lu Sheng put on a nice and elegant pair of pants along with some luxurious shoes. While he was tying his laces, he asked the maid how old her parents' friend was. The maid who was holding Lu Sheng's jacket kept calm to not seem suspicious and replied that he was still somewhat young. He was over 70 years old. Lu Sheng, who was adjusting the cuffs of his shirt, simply stayed listening to her in silence. He took out a luxurious necklace and while he was observing it, he asked her what her opinion was about that man. The maid also started to observe the necklace and with a serene look she replied that she had already rejected him many times. While she was holding Lu Sheng's jacket, she began to look sideways and with a lost gaze mentioned that Lai Dai was not going to marry, she would always be here to serve Lu Sheng. He approached the maid, took the jacket and told her that this was not necessary. He started putting on the jacket and with a cheerful smile explained to her that if she believed it was appropriate, then she could seek her own happiness. He approached the mirror, started to adjust his jacket and with a calm look revealed that he was not going to be here forever. She closed her eyes and nodded. Lu Sheng turned around and decided it was time to go on the date and gave the order to the maid to withdraw. She placed her hands over her abdomen, began to look down with a lost expression and responded with an understood. Lu Sheng turned his back to her. He started to observe her out of the corner of his eye with a suspicious look. Each person had their own secrets, as long as these did not affect him. He did not care. After a few hours, Lu Sheng went to the Blue Dove restaurant. He started to observe the restaurant and couldn't help but smile. He had had his last date in this restaurant but unfortunately he had stood up poor Snowy. He approached the window, started adjusting his shirt looking at himself in the reflection, and with a determined smile decided to behave better since this time he had a formal date. While he was distracted, a woman wearing a pretty white skirt started to approach him. Upon hearing the sound of footsteps, with a surprised look he realized that she had already arrived. With a cheerful smile, he turned around and saw the sexy Snowy, who was wearing a pretty white skirt. She began to look at Lu Sheng with a gaze full of love and couldn't help but start blushing. She had taken off her army uniform and dressed like a very sexy woman. Seeing how beautiful she looked in this dress, Lu Sheng couldn't help but start smiling and falling even more in love with her. For him, she could not be described with just one word. She was incredibly beautiful. Snowy approached him, and with a loving look she asked him if he was surprised. Lu Sheng closed his eyes and began to smile. He was more than surprised, but he replied that he was not surprised. He was just amazed. Snowy who was red as a tomato, decided it was time to go eat. Lu Sheng opened his eyes, began to contemplate her beauty, and became perplexed. He closed his eyes, extended his hand towards her for her to give him her hand and started to show a kind smile. Upon seeing that he wanted her to give him her hand, she couldn't help but feel somewhat surprised. Her heart began to beat even harder. She started to smile and without hesitating for a second, she gave her hand to Lu Sheng. Both became happy and started walking towards the restaurant. Lu Sheng turned his head towards her, she began to look at him with a loving gaze and she couldn't help but feel very happy, as this was her desire. She realized that although Lu Sheng was pretending to be calm on the outside, in reality he was a little nervous and uncomfortable. She was left perplexed looking at Lu Sheng, according to her he was very adorable. They entered the restaurant, sat at the table and an elegant waiter approached to ask what they wanted to eat. Lu Sheng ordered the most expensive and best dishes of the restaurant. After a few minutes, the food arrived and now the table was full of plates. Most were luxurious meat and fish along with some expensive bottles of wine, a meal that not everyone could afford. Using his hand, Lu Sheng opened the black box that contained a luxurious steak. He closed his eyes, put his hand near his mouth, started to cough softly and decided to be more elegant. He took a knife and a fork and in a very elegant way he started to cut the steak. Then, he lifted his head and began to observe Snowy. Snowy cut a piece of steak, and while it was releasing smoke because it was hot, using the fork she started to bring it to her mouth. She savored the steak, but then she realized that it was very hot. She started to cry and stuck her tongue out. A while later, with a smile, Lu Sheng asked her if she wanted to go see a movie with him after eating. Snowy, who was holding a glass of water, started to look into his eyes and she accepted without hesitation. As the precious rays of sunlight were entering the luxurious restaurant and were hitting their table, the date continued its course. At the same time in Lu Sheng's mansion, more precisely in the precious and huge garden, there were two maids, one of them was cutting the plants using some scissors, and the other was whispering in her ear. 
they knew that Mr. Lu Sheng was dating another girl since the maid was extremely cold and furious about this. While they were conversing about this, a maid approached them from behind and warned them that next time she heard them talking secretly about adult matters, she would punish them severely. Upon hearing this, the two maids panicked and began to sweat profusely, and could not help but start to feel a lot of fear. This maid was none other than Lu Sheng's personal maid, Lai Dai. With a serious look she ordered them to go directly report at the military district prison. She put her hands on her hips and with a shout gave them the order to leave. The two maids started looking down with a sad expression and both began to walk away. They turned their backs on her and as they were walking away, with a worried look, Lai Dai turned around. Once the maids left, she started to walk through the mansion until she reached an area where there was cigarette smoke. Outside the mansion, there was a hooded man. She approached the wall and asked him why he had come here. This man was none other than her parents' friend. He dropped the cigarette to the ground, and with an angry look asked her when she planned to act. She started looking down with a lost gaze and remained thinking in silence. The cigarette hit the ground, he began to step on it, and explained to her that that person could hardly wait any longer. With a sad look, she began to look at the ground and explain that this was the Eastern Military District and Lu Sheng was now the brightest and most talented star of the military region, so there was no way she could act. She started to observe the man with a serious look. If she acted now, she would not be able to leave alive from the Great Eastern Camp. The man turned his head towards her and with a calm look asked her what she planned to do now, adding that Lu Sheng was improving too quickly. His eyes filled with terror as he remembered that Lu Sheng was barely under 20 years old. He lost his composure, and with an angry look began to shout since in a few years, not even the genetic poison of a normal level 9 beast would be able to kill Lu Sheng. The maid pressed her back against the wall and with a serene look asked the man to calm down, as there were only a few days left for the great competition of the Eastern Military District. She couldn't help but start to smile since at that moment, Lu Sheng was going to represent the East to go to the center and participate in the military tournament of the entire region. She was going to act on the way as it would be easier for her to escape. The man calmed down and couldn't help but start to smile since as long as she had a plan, everything was going to be fine. With a confident look, he asked her not to worry since after they finished with this, if she dedicated herself to the martial path, that person would naturally make her enter the Dojo of Limits, with a status equivalent to that of a disciple of the martial saint. The maid who had her back against the wall simply stayed listening in silence. The man took out a matchbox, took out a match and while he was getting ready to light it, with a smile mentioned that if she didn't want to enter the dojo, then she was going to receive a large sum of money. He lit the match, put a cigarette in his mouth, lit the cigarette and with a confident look mentioned that this was an amount that she would not be able to spend in her whole life. He started to smoke and the smoke began to enter the interior of the mansion. The maid started to wave away the smoke using her hand and accepted this without hesitation. She stepped away from the wall, started to cover her nose, and asked the man not to look for her again for a while since if Lu Sheng found out about this, it would be a disaster. She started to walk away and asked the man to leave quickly. The man who was calmly smoking the cigarette remained silent. With a sinister look, he spat at the thought of Lu Sheng. As the cigarette was releasing smoke, he began to smile since for him, this maid was a despicable person. He turned his head towards her and with an evil look began to show a wicked smile. He couldn't believe that she was going to betray her benefactor. A portal appeared. He entered the portal and started laughing out loud, thinking that she really believed this was going to turn out as she wanted. This is the end of the video. If you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.